tarot and welcome back to my channel Aquarian Empress Tarot you guys. This is going to be your extended reading Virgo that I promised you guys this week when I did your original reading. So let's hop in and take a look at who's coming towards you guys because remember I told you to be expecting a surprise. Um, I'm using my Twin Flame Eternal Love Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. If you guys are inter interested in her decks, check her out on Etsy, okay? So the first two cards I pulled automatically pop out, Virgo, for your little little thing, boo thing, is wedding. Letting go is the hardest thing. So for some of you guys, you wanted a commitment with whoever this person was or is that's coming towards you. And um, it was hard for you guys to let go of the connection or hard for them. Take the messages as they resonate. This is a general collective reading. Before I have folks post and comments. Keep it moving. So you guys kept it moving because you weren't getting the, con the commitment that you wanted from this person. All right. So tell us more spirit about who's coming towards Virgo. Tell us a little bit more. Give us the... What is this person like? Who's coming towards Virgo? And what's the what's the story between Virgo and this person who's coming back? Oh, <laughs> six of cups. So for some of you guys, Virgo, this is a water sign that may be reaching out to you. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Like I said, this is a general collective reading. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. So if Virgo... If you dealt with a water sign, they thinking about you, okay? They thinking about your ass. They like, I miss Virgo. Virgo, you kept it moving, okay? You see the car and got the heart on top. It's cute. You see it? <laughs> it's got the heart on top of the car. Y'all was like, you know what? Forget it. This person is not offering a commitment. I'm out of here. I'm done with this uh, block belief, okay? See, we have wedding here. And this, for me, is an energy of committed or high-level committed relationship. And we have letting go is the hardest thing for you. Virgo, I feel like typically you guys end up partnering with people who have a lot of trauma, toxic ass folks. And I'm proud of y'all for letting whoever this person was go because they needed to work on themselves, Virgo. Let's see. But this person, they are coming back towards you, just so you know. So we more about this person's spirit. Who's coming towards Virgo? Surprise visit towards Virgo. Who is this person? Wounded. Wounded battle. Yeah, somebody who's been through a lot. And somebody that um, the relationship was very rocky with this person when you two were together. It was a lot of highs and lows, ups and downs, wherever this is. Could be a fire sign for some of y'all, not everybody. How they got there. But this person, okay, I see what it is. This person right now is currently going, okay. They are experiencing their karma. Ain't that some ish, Virgo? Let's see. Yeah. This person is going through some karma, but they have been taking the time to love themselves. This person is emotionally sensitive, Virgo. Like I said, it could be a water sign for some of y'all. But look, we have the wheel. Karma. Also divine timing. It was only a matter of time before they... They reaped what they sowed. This person put y'all through hell. It was constant playing mind games, in and out energy, not sure where the relationship was going, probably left you in confusion. For some of y'all, you found out that there was another person involved. And honey, y'all was like, I got to go. I'm not going to deal with this. Not at all. So that's that. All right. They also see you in the Queen of Cups energy, Virgo, because I feel like you guys are very loving and very giving, very supportive. You guys are like, Virgo, you're like what I like to call the parents of the Zodiac. Um, you guys just really like to take care of people, caregivers, healers, um, intuitive readers. Some of y'all are all in that category. And this person... This person carried a lot of toxic energy. The devil is here. 
Um, you may have been obsessed with this person, but they may they damn sure were obsessed about you, Virgo. Just know that if they tried to play like they didn't have emotions for you, know that they did. They did, and they still think about you now. This person is actually trying to manifest a comeback into your life. The magician is here. I don't know who this is for, but I, I'm picking up strong cancer Scorpio energy. The five of cups. This person wants to come back and apologize for the way that they treated you. They want to apologize for the delays in the connection. They want to try to re-strategize and see how to see if maybe they can pick up the pieces and you guys can move forward with the page of wands. The, the page of wands energy is like this person wants to reach out to you. Like I said, surprise, you guys, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign, but even if, even still, even if it's not, you're going to be getting hearing from this person if not seeing this person very soon because this person still has you on their mind, Virgo. Whoever this is, the high priestess could be a Pisces. See what I'm saying? But this person, um, also this person hid a lot of stuff from you, but because you guys are intuitive, you guys could pick up their energy. You guys could kind of figure out, put two and two together and figure out what was going on. Some of them have, for lack of better words, a baby mama. You found out about it. You may have even confronted them about it. Or they were dealing with other females, Virgo. <laughs> like I said, you guys are very, very intuitive. That's one thing I know about Virgo. And you guys are like, you know what? I'm moving on regardless. But this person is very determined to talk to you. They're very determined to see how to get their foot back in the door. Virgo, of course, free will is at play. So this is all up to you guys. But this person wants a victory with you. They want your attention. They want to be seen. They want to be heard. They want to be acknowledged. They want you to forgive them, Virgo. Of course, that is on you because this person puts you through a lot emotionally. Could be financially. You could have helped this person out financially. You could have let them stay in your home. You could have given them a key to your home. You could have loaned them money. You could have done all kinds of things because you guys are nurturers. Ace of Swords. This person wants to clear the air with you because they see you. They see you, Virgo. They see you and you are victorious. Queen of Wands, they see you in this energy, attractive, sexy, intelligent. You, you're all of the things, Virgo, that a person would want in a spouse or a partner. You are it. You are it. Eight of Wands, yeah, this person wants to reach out and communicate because you guys have been either separated, divorced, broken up, whatever you want to call it, Virgo, for a while, for some months now. Maybe even over a year or longer for some of y'all. But the choice is yours. The choice is yours, Virgo. Because, I mean, they're an ex for a reason, right? So, Spirit, what can Virgo expect in the next week or so in regards to love? What, what can Virgo expect? Let's find out, Virgo. Let's see. We have secretly, <laughs> secretly admiring you. I'm hearing that song by Doja Cat. Let me be a woman, 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 woman. Let me be a woman. <laughs> yeah, this person is like, I want to be your man. I want to be your man. <laughs> yeah, Virgo, somebody wants to be looked spoiled. This person may be bringing you gifts. They may send you a gift in the mail, Virgo. Y'all let me know in the comment section below if this really happens because this person, they may actually show up to your door with gifts, flowers, candies, things they know that you like. Eternal ecstasy. <laughs> oh my goodness. This person, this person really misses the intimacy, Virgo. I'm not straight up. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. They miss the sex, Virgo. For some of y'all. If sex was not involved, they dream about it. They daydream about it. Spirit said no. Spirit said no, and you probably gonna be saying no to vacation. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Yeah, this person wants a one-on-one -on -one date night vacation getaway with you two, Virgo. And they may offer it because they, <laughs> they want to get back in your good graces. We got trust issues, trust issues, but you have trust issues with this person because this person, like I said, they hid secrets, they play games, and Spirit is like, nah, if you do decide to go out with this person, play it safe. They're holding a condom year there. Yes, they are. 
Spirit says, be careful, tread carefully. Here's, but here, I just got to say this to y'all, Virgo. Y'all know my thoughts on exes, right? A lot of the time, honey, an ex is kind of like trash, for like a better words. We don't go back in the trash when we throw something away. We leave it there. I'm just saying. Now, like I said, you know, free will is at play. Y'all can make your little choices, decide to do what you're going to do. But Spirit said, honey, play it safe. Whatever y'all do, play it safe. Because we, look, we don't want no, we don't want no surprises nine months later, Virgo. That's what your spirit guys are saying. Play it safe. All right. But I just wanted y'all to know. There's little exes trying to creep back in. All right. So if the reading resonates for you guys, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Thumbs up the video, please. And subscribe. And until next time, love you guys.